Welcome to the sixth video in the APE tutorial video series. In the last video, we looked at the restriction ligation assembler. In this video, we will look at working with highlighting and um, editing features within a sequence. You can see that APE has a lot of ways of showing um, individual features, and we saw in an earlier video that we can see those features using the x-ray window by pressing the space bar or um, by um, clicking on, under features show x-ray window within the main menu. APE can um, scan for features automatically from a feature library. The default feature library that um, can be found by going to features edit feature library and you can see that um, there's a fairly ex um, long list of features that APE knows about within it, these um, feature definitions. So if you um, click on one of these and edit it, you can see that feature definitions are a name, a DNA sequence that can either be uppercase or lowercase. The lowercase can be converted to a plus symbol. Then you can um, tell it what type and what color to make that feature when you find it. So in a feature definition, any of the DNA bases that are present have to match. But if the bases are lowercase, they will be excluded from the feature highlighting when the feature is highlighted. So if, for example, you have a discontinuous feature that is two exons with an intron in between, you can make the intron not highlighted, even though you can specify that that intron sequence has to be there. You can further, if you make it um, lowercase and then make that lowercase into a plus symbol, the plus symbol matches any number of bases that are not specified. So if you don't know in advance what the intron sequence is, you can make that a plus and APE will search for the uppercase sequence before the plus, then it will skip any number of bases until it finds an exact match for the bases after the plus. You can um, raise and lower within the feature library and that will um, make the feature scanned earlier or later within the scanning procedure. You can delete features from the library and you can save the feature um, as um, either the same default feature library or you can save it to a new file and the file location is listed down here. Then you can select to scan the current sequence once you've edited the feature library or you can um, skip the scan. In order to scan with a feature library, you um, for this example, we're going to use the same um, L4440 DNA sequence that we had before. We will, for um, illustration purposes, clear out the features that are already present. So you can use Shift-Command-K on the Mac or Shift-Control-K on the PC to clear out all of the features. Because this is um, a fairly um, large effect on the uh, file, it asks you whether you're sure you want to clear all of the features. So in this case we can click OK and now we have a completely blank DNA sequence as if maybe we got it from someone as a basic text file. Now if we do features, annotate features using library, it will scan and fill in all of the features that it found from the library. You can um, add new features to a library by just um, taking a DNA sequence and selecting it and then um, you can put a new name. You can edit which parts of the sequence are uppercase and lowercase as described earlier. You can make new feature types. You can change the color um, or you can cancel adding that by just closing that um, dialog window. 
you can um, open other feature libraries. If you save feature libraries, for example, that contain uh, promoter sequences from your lab or uh, different kinds of um, functional annotations that you might want to add, you can uh, save all of those in individual feature libraries and annotate any sequence that you like using that um, new feature library. So you can um, you can restack the features by length, which if you have a lot of overlapping features will cause the longest feature to go um, to the bottom most display level. And um, so if you have a short feature that's being hidden by longer features, that will move the shorter feature to the top so that you can um, see its highlighting, um, overlaying the um, longer features highlighting. You can just get a quick list of all of the features that are within a file and you can um, copy that text out to an electronic notebook or um, to any text editor that you like. You can um, make a FASTA search file where you just have, rather than having all of the feature parameters of a feature library, if you just have a FASTA file, it will use the DNA sequences in that as a search um, as a search template. You can also do new features from find highlighting. So if you, for example, search for G, 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 and um, find those within your sequence, or then you can highlight those. So let's highlight, so there's no G, G, G. There's one match for um, G, 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 G. Now, if you do features, new feature from found highlighting, 6G, and then it's a miscellaneous feature and we make it green. you can see that now we've made the feature 6G from our found tool. You can um, edit the features from the, um, from the feature table at the top of the, um, at the top of the sequence file. So if you click on any one of these, you can um, see where it is. If we would like to um, edit the feature name, 6G, we can press return and now the feature name has been edited. We can right click to change the color. It will bring up a color dialog and we can make it um, a nice magenta color. We can um, bring it to the top if it's um, hiding underneath a, a feature, or we can send it to the bottom if it's um, hiding features. We can do what's called hiding a feature. If you have a particular set of features that you don't want to delete from the file, but you don't want to see them displayed um, at the present time, you can hide that feature and it will be displayed in the table under this little tab called hidden. So if you um, if you were not interested in all of these, you could um, hide all of those features. And now they're all within the hidden area. And now we only have these three features, the AMP promoter, the um, AMP resistance gene, and the origin of replication showing. And if we um, make a graphic map, all of the hidden features are no longer displayed on our new graphic map. For example. So we can bring all of those back by right clicking and do show all features or if we can um, look within hidden and just show that one feature or we can um, we can command click and find two features and we can just show um, those two selected features and take them out of hidden. So you can um, hide and um, and show individual features by selecting them. You can also sort the table 
the default values by location, but you can sort it by type, for example. And then if you wanted to hide all of the primer bind features, you can just select those and hide just those three selected features. Or you can um, click on a primer bind and you can hide all primer bind features without um, selecting them individually. So you, you can sort by direction and then by type, or you can sort by um, alphabetically by name, but um, most often it's useful to sort them by location. You can change the location um, that's highlighted within a feature by just changing, by selecting the region that you want to add to the, to the feature. If we just wanted to add a little bit more onto this, you can then right click or um, control click, and then you can do feature plus selection, and that will add the selected region to this feature, even if it's discontinuous. You can um, make it even a little bit bigger, and now it shows this new region. If you make this area lowercase, and now right click and say uh, uppercase only, then it will highlight as part of the feature only the regions that are uppercase. So we can um, also just do minus selection, and now it will take the selected region out of the um, feature. So then we can by hand feature minus selection, and we can select just the cheese and do feature plus selection, and now we're back to where we were before. So um, for people who have used Ape for a long time, there used to be um, edit features uh, table within the features um, main menu, but that has been moved to the um, feature table at the top. And so if you'd like to make the feature table look like the old um, edit feature dialog, just press shift and then click on this icon and it will bring up the same buttons that you used to have in the old dialog. They're just now part of the window uh, itself. And so now you can, um, you can raise, lower, delete, hide, and show features the way you used to if you don't like using the right click option or the command click option, or the control click option. Um, if you like the way it, uh, it used to work. So that's how you um, show features within, um, within Ape. And that's the end of video six for the Ape tutorial video series.